Ready? Yep. NSN is 8415. On an average year, we probably dedicate about 9,000 hours to inventory. And it takes about two months for a team of 12 airmen to do 100% inventory. And it's just thousands of man hours that's getting wasted looking at individual lot numbers and writing it down via pen and paper and having to input it into the system manually. And there's been a lot of errors and it's been about $20 million worth of inventory adjustments for missing equipment. I'm Technical Sergeant Michael Perry. I work IPE and we're in charge of inventorying and issuing over 500 million assets for Team Osan. To make our job easier, we are hoping to incorporate an RFID technology package where basically we affix each item or container with an individual RFID barcode and then it enables us to scan multiple items at once and cut down on our issue time, inventory time. So we have thousands of hours that we've dedicated to inventorying items just like this where the contractors implemented the RFID system not only on the packaging but on the individual items and it's ready to get implemented into our system and save us thousands of hours each year. What's really inspired us to want to incorporate this RFID technology is seeing numerous videos about how some industry leaders such as like Amazon, Walmart, the Girl Scouts of America are already using RFID technology for their inventorying and just seeing how quick that this process can be done. $275,000 is a lot of money to ask for, but the benefits that we're going to see from this is that team of 12 airmen that it takes thousands of hours to accomplish inventory each year, it's going to take two airmen 20 minutes to accomplish 100% inventory of all our serialized assets. Our issue time for everybody that comes through the doors for Team Osan is going to be cut down to about 10 minutes per person and it completely paperless. No more manual entry for our inventory or issue practices. It includes four handheld terminals, four laptops, lifetime support, and a whole software that tracks the RFID technology and inventory practices as well as the actual RFID application and training, on-site training that's provided by those contractors. I think one of the, the biggest frustrations with like the supply system as a whole is that we don't really see that much innovation within it. It's not really one of those big hot topic things like innovation within supply and there's systems that are already available for us to take and to incorporate into our current supply practices. Everybody's trying to incorporate change. Everybody's trying to make IPE better than we left it. The program that we took over wasn't exactly the best program, but we're really trying to put our name on the mailbox and improve everything that we put our hands on.